It's Saturday, June 8th. So many of my children veer off my path, wanting to listen to their flesh instead of waiting on me. They are running ahead, trying to make my plan for them unfold before it's time. My child, you need to tell them to rest in me. Continue to purge yourselves of the world and grow in me, but also rest in the completion of my plan. So many are striving to add to my simple plan of salvation. They think that adding their works is going to increase their portions in heaven. My works are fruits of the Spirit, inspired by the Spirit. Your flesh-inspired works do not impress me. When you rest in my finished work, this is what is required. Nothing you do in your flesh is visible to me. Operating in the Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh is the only way you can please me. When you operate under the Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, your works cease to be filthy rags and become the fruition of the fruits of the Spirit. Many of my children need to see that nothing of their flesh is holy. The only way they can become holy to me is by letting themselves be a vessel for the Ruach HaKodesh, Holy Spirit. Simply put, your works of the flesh can never be holy. Your works to be an acceptable offering to me must be preordained by the Ruach HaKodesh, Holy Spirit. This is how you operate in my will for you. You receive all that you need, guidance, knowledge, peace, and my love. When you rest in the Ruach HaKodesh, when you rest in my finished work. When you rest in the Ruach HaKodesh, you are automatically growing in me. You are automatically purging the old sinful nature. I am creating in you a new creation. When you rest in me, you will see good things begin to unfold in your life. When you press forward and try to force things, you will end up worse off than when you started. Many of my children underestimate the plans I have for them. They walk believing all of the lies of Satan and simply exist with only glimpses of what I want to do with their lives. I will inspire you through my Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, to start down the path leading towards me. If you start on your own and in your flesh, you will surely not be in my will and be producing nothing great for my kingdom. In your pride, you think that you can offer me something and improve on my simple plan of salvation. Yes, the plan is simple but it is perfect and cannot be added to. Only human fleshy pride allows my children to think that they themselves can add anything to my perfect plan. In many cases, your pride is your biggest enemy. Squash your pride now. Humble yourselves before your king.